for tuning in to Dub World. Today we're going to be looking at air-cooled Mexican-built Volkswagen Beetles. The advertisements that you see here in this video were pulled off of Facebook Marketplace at the end of June 2022 and I took the price which was in pesos and I've changed that to US dollars via conversion charts again at the end of June. So what you see here reflects a real world price if you were to buy these in American dollars probably asking why am I talking about Mexican VW Beetles well the reason is I'm starting to see more and more of these come into America for sale and I'm starting to see them at ridiculously high prices now I know the current market for collector cars is through the roof Volkswagen is no different we've seen price increases in the last two years upwards of 40 percent maybe even higher on some of these cars but I wanted to make sure you don't get taken advantage of if you decide to buy a Mexican Beetle. If you see these prices here and you see the cars, it's very apparent that you can find a decent car at a really good price. I purposely went through these ads trying to find cars that represented a nice example of a Mexican Beetle. Now I'm only showing you exterior pictures because I didn't want to go through multiple photos in these ads, but just rest assured that what you're seeing here are the nicer vehicles that I found for sale. If you weren't already aware, the air cool VW Beetle was made up until 2003 in Mexico. At one time, the Beetle was the most widely used vehicle in Mexico. And because of that, you're going to find them in various degrees of condition. You're going to find cars that are really tired and worn and beat up and should probably be in the junkyard and also really nice and well taken care of examples. Just make sure if you do decide to buy one of these vehicles, especially if you're importing them from Mexico, that you do your due diligence and don't end up with something that's in really terrible shape. Now we've already seen things like this happening with Brazilian buses. Where we've got a lot of really worn out vehicles that are being patched up and sent here. Again, you have some nice ones and you have some not so nice ones. So no matter where you're buying a vehicle from, always do an investigation get lots of photos get videos make sure you check it out if you're not sure what to look for contact somebody who knows ask somebody for help there's plenty of well-versed vw people out there that can help you so if you decide to import a mexican beetle just know that the united states has certain restrictions for importing vehicles from other countries in this case, if you stick with a vehicle that's 25 years or older, you're okay because you don't need to do any modifications. So just keep that in mind. As of the shooting of this video, that would mean July of 97 manufacturer or older. I'd also caution you to check with your individual state to make sure they don't have specific requirements for importing these vehicles as well. I'm going to leave you here with this beautiful white Mexican Beetle that I think is in fantastic condition, and I wouldn't mind owning it myself. This is the only one I'm gonna show you a picture of the interior in because it's a nicely done, customized interior. Well, that wraps up today's video. I hope this enlightened you about the world of air-cooled Mexican beetles. As always, thank you so much for tuning in to Dub World, and I'll see you real soon.